Money Man on being the first musical artist to receive his advance all in Bitcoin. Should I ask you for a cup or a heavy glass? So I don't want to one. Oh, no, that's great. As long as you want to take off. If you take off, then it's wrong. You even a glass, though, it's wrong. <laughs> y'all see that uh, BTC hit an all time high today? Y'all seen that crypto up like a mall? Y'all got sweet tea? Y'all got sweet tea? Um, sweet tea? No, no we sweet do not. Tea. No. Any type of juice? Uh, yes, we have cranberry, orange juice, apple juice. I touch the apple juice. Yeah, crypto up like a mall. Right. To the south and reverted back to the sweet tea. Huh. Nah, I, but you know it's the same as uh, everything else. What's popping? Been, man? Everything good? Yeah. Yeah, good yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard from Ryan? Nah. I ain't heard from him. For real? That's crazy. You heard from him? Nah. You know how that be. I gotta call and check in with him, though. If I get a number on him. We'll check, we'll check it out to get on that. All right, bet. Winning since 2014, big money. Yeah, man, we doing, listen, next year we doing nothing but getting big. Like, really starting now, like. We ain't doing shit, we got now uh, getting to the end, man. All that broke shit. We gotta leave that for the broke niggas, man. But really, if you broke, you need to get my telegram. I might have a way for you to get some money quickly. I might have a way for you to run it up real quick. You ain't even got a goddamn worry about nothing. You feel me? Thank you. And just a little bit about your seats here. Should you need anything while we're in flight, you don't need to get up. I'll take care of everything. Just go ahead and hit the call button, okay? Thank you. Okay, see you right here. You also have call buttons and you won't be But like I was saying, if you got them. Up. Best to keep it hot if I just place it out here. Get in my telegram. You might have to run that up. I might have some ways for you with this script though. to run it up. We in the bull market right now, shit high as hell. But I still think shit is gonna go up like 10 times higher. I still think a lot of shit gonna go up. I don't really drink, but I have a five to ten times. You giving in? You drinking? Maybe. One what? We're going, I don't know, we're going to DR. It's a good day. <laughs> yeah. It comes out on Fridays. a good day. You're going to drink. By the way, uh, check your cash app. I sent you the points. You heard me? Yeah, I, I just heard you. My boy Gazzy on this motherfucker, man. Yes, sir. Let me see that, Gazzy. You said check my cash out? Yeah, here. Oh, that's crazy. Y'all see that? Y'all see that right there? <laughs> Y'all see what that is? We got to the phones, man. We got to take off. Make sure it this time. We gonna do it this time. Yeah, we only got like two minutes. Listen, man. I have to make sure everyone's safe. We going crazy this year, yeah, man. We going crazy this year. We all do plenty. You feel me? Yeah, we going crazy. Y'all been checking that market out. I hope you been running it up. Really, the market been going crazy this whole year. We <laughs> going up. I don't drink, but we having shit today. <laughs> we going to DR. We going to the Backwoods Factory. I don't even smoke, but we going to the Backwoods Factory. <laughs> Shout out my boy Gabby, man. Money up. Check your cash out. Send you them coins. Here. <laughs> Let me show y'all something, man. Y'all see the... Y'all see what the going on? Yes, sir. Me and 
guys, we just we just made history. I don't even think you ever seen that much money in a cash app account. Cash out made. <laughs> cash out switch day. Cash out went to the back engineering inside of their program to allow us to send that much money through that. We we the only people you'll ever see probably send a million dollars through cash out. You'll never see that again in your life. A million dollars worth of Bitcoin to make it that. So you gotta think about it like that. We just made history today. You you ain't never probably even seen no artist get paid or have a million dollars in Bitcoin. You might see it after this, because you know we just planted the seed and the seed gonna grow. But we just made history. We the first to do this. We going to the moon. But a lot of people want to know what, what coins I got, y'all. Y'all been asking me what coins do I got. I got so many coins, man. My my profile, my portfolio, my portfolio is outrageous. Like I got some Doge Elon for my meme coin. I heard they building some type of ecosystem or they might have a small one. But I'ma still put it in the um the meme coin category. I really got to study them more. I just got it because it pumps and it goes down. It's volatile. It's a volatile coin. And, you know, I like volatility. Like, I like being able to put five grand in it and it might hit 25K or 30K or 40K. So I put it in. I ain't even bother to look at the utility like that, like like that, Ryoshi, Floki, all that type. Shit. I just put something in just because it's popular. Um... I got Cardano. I'm waiting for Cardano to pump. Cardano around 240. I ain't checked today. The market looked like it was down today. Um, I got Solana, of course. I bought Solana around 130, sold it at 180, bought back in around 185. So I'm still in the green. Um, hmm, what else I got? Polygon. I got Avalanche. I got Storage. I got Jasmine. I got um, I got a lot of the Japanese and the Chinese coins, base coins. I just have them because you know China got a lot of money right now. If you peep, China slick everywhere. Like when you go out to San Francisco, it's a lot of Asians out there. So China got a lot of money to fuel their economy if they want to. They could put money in all type of coins if they want. But I got a lot of um, Chinese and Japanese base coins, Asian. I got money in Opulus. Opulus is some of the technology that's going to be working with um, with um, Facebook, with Metaport, and Meta for Facebook. What else I got? I got Adius. Adius is for um, artists. When you drop your music, stream it, blockchain-wise. I got Hive. Um, I just seen one of my people tell me about that, so I put five grand in it here. I took... I took like 20 coins and I put five grand and like 20 coins. Then the big dogs, the top 10, I put more. I might spread out like 50 in each one of them. Um, Ethereum and Bitcoin. That take up maybe, depending, because I move a lot of money around. I be trying to make trades. I be up watching so I can actually make trades. I can make day trades or every other day. I can trade and move this around. A lot of people can't do that because, you know, they got other obligations and other responsibilities. You feel me? So I got the time on my hands to do it. If you got the time on your hands to do it, then you need to be really making some shape. That's really the thing. Like, that's why that's why I talk to my young people. You feel me? Like I be like, Shit. if you right now, if you 15, 16, really 14, because 14, you got the mental capacity to understand this shit. If you 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, all you should really be doing is crypto and credit. You should be planning on building your credit and then fucking with crypto. That's all you should be doing. Unless you play sports. If you play sports or you want to be a scientist or some other shit like that, do your thing. But if you don't have no path and you don't have no way, which is a lot of people, I'm giving you a path and I'm giving you a way so you can have some money and you won't be depressed when you're a little older, you feel me? 
I'm just giving you the way. Work on your crypto and work on your credit. Get in the NFTs. You got 13 year olds out here making millions of dollars. Little girl, 13, worth $3.4 million. She worth more than most grown folks. Told me that 4000 Told me that 10000 Now, let's be clear. Bitcoin at an all-time high, so you don't buy nothing at an all-time high. That's just a golden rule. You buy nothing at an all-time high because what goes up must come down. But there's other shit that's low right now. It's a whole new wave anyway. You got to be in my telegram for me to put you on a whole new wave. But I told you how to get startup funds. It's a lot of it's a lot of high schoolers who follow my like who follow my and listen to me. It's a lot of high school kids. And to the high school kids, right? This is what I say. I'm going to put y'all in a little, little info right now. Find somebody you can piggyback your credit off of. That way your credit will be built and you could use your credit by the time you're 18 and start you a business. You know what I'm saying? That way, people be like, oh, ain't nobody just giving no credit card out for 50000 Yes, they are. They're giving that away. You just got to have the right, the right build up to get it. That's why, you know what's important? It's important to move negative people out your circle. Because how somebody going to tell you what the credit bureau giving away and they have bullshit credit. They got bad credit. You get what I'm saying? Why would you listen to somebody who has bad credit telling you about credit or who never had credit? That's like a trash showing you how to play basketball. You gonna let a with a broke jumper tell you how to shoot? No. Or you gonna tell them who don't know you who don't know about what by like oh I think this the best but he don't know shit about you feel me so you the, the first step in improving your life is trying the best to your ability to get rid of negative unknowledgeable people from around you you can keep unknowledgeable people around you who humble who trying to learn but the arrogant the worst person on this planet is an arrogant unknowledgeable person which is a lot of people those are the worst people on this planet because you know what happens to arrogant unknowledgeable people jealousy sets in because they arrogant and unknowledgeable so they get jealous of you you get what i'm saying like oh i can't do this i'm so let me on this person that's what goes on in their head so guess what that's like a cancer it starts spreading. You know, people, people, we all kind of connected. So we feed off each other. It, it's like the Travis Scott shit. One start running, a thousand more start running. And then they end up trampling somebody. So if you peep, that was, that's what you call the mob mentality. That was like a flock of sheep. It was like a flock of animals. You get what I'm saying? A flock of animals went and trampled somebody. And then they went and blamed somebody else for their actions of having a mob mentality. You get what I'm saying? So unintelligent, when you have unknowledgeable, arrogant people around you, that shit starts spreading like a cancer. You get what I'm saying? And then if you got something going on, they blame you for what they got going on, for them not being successful, or for them doing something crazy. You get what I'm saying? But RIP to the people in the Travis Scott thing, I'm just saying, that's what happened when you got them type of people around you. So number one, you gotta remove people around you who got who don't know shit but always wanna comment on that type of shit. You feel me? You are who you hang around. You 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 cannot be who you hang around, but you can become that and you can you can kinda become that. That's why don't make exceptions if you hanging with a you feel me? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. What'd you say? So check this out. This is why I'm on top of shit, because I don't just rap. Like, I'm always looking for new shit. 
to learn about. Like, I want to just know shit. I don't want to just be stuck in a box. I don't think it's cool to just be stuck in a box. All I know about is the streets. I used to kind of be like that. Like, all I, I was closed-minded. Let me not even say that. Because I always was open-minded to what anybody had going on. Like, anybody religion, anybody culture, um, anybody country. I was open-minded. So, when you open-minded, you take in new information. Like, a lot of niggas are open-minded. If a lot of don't know that Africa is leading in blockchain technology. So guess what? I'm going to go tap in in Ethiopia, Nigeria. You know, Nigeria was big in scamming. When I was f***ing with the scam, who, who you think I was tapping in with? I was tapping I was tapping in with Nigerians. You feel me? Like, we know last. So why would I tap in with... I go tap in with somebody who knows. We always catch on to everything last. Like the EDD shit, the Nigerians, first week, they put in for $600 million in Ohio. The first week, they didn't even know about that shit probably the first week. But them folks over there put in for $600 million the first week. I'm like, how the fuck did these niggas even know that you could goddamn hit them folks like that? Shit be amazing. You kind of got you to expand your, your surroundings. See, and I know everybody don't. I plug y'all in because everybody don't come to my page. I got, like, my niche fan base. So, my niche fan base, we more like the people who fuck with me and tap in with me is more like y'all not dumb. You get what I'm saying? Y'all kind of got your own mind, so y'all think about shit like, okay, I want to get into crypto. I want to get into, um, when it was on the dark side, I want to get in the scam. You feel me? Or I want to get in there grow my own loud. You feel me? It's different. It's all different walks of life who kind of f me that I tap into. So that's why I put y'all on information. But you know, everything not for everybody. So a lot of the stuff I say not going to be for everybody. That's why when I make certain statements on Twitter, a lot of people take offense to them. Even even some stuff in my music, people will take offense to if they're underachieving. You get what I'm saying? She says she want a boss because her boyfriend a cheapskate. If bruh's a cheapskate and he underachieving, he gonna take offense to that. He gonna be like, f***ing money. It ain't his fault though, you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. I finally understand what they say when your money should always be moving. I mean, you put some rainy day. I always have some rainy day money. A lot of, like, I heard Dame Dad say saving is for suckers. I kind of didn't get that one. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes he get a little out of control with what he be saying. He might not have meant that. You know what I'm saying? But um, you put you some rainy day money to the side. You never know what'll happen. So you get your rainy day money. Let's say, I'm going to bust it down, right? Let's say you got 100 racks. 30 of that need to go to the side. It don't exist no more. You can invest the 20. Spend 20 on yourself, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of niggas have been broke their whole life. They gotta treat, you gotta treat yourself. Sometimes when you treat yourself, when you spend that dub, it puts your back against the wall to make more. You know what I'm saying? Like it was an author, right? It was a famous author from the UK. He used to blow all the money he had just so he could have that rump, that hunger to write another best selling book. I mean, that's not the strategy I'm suggesting here, but I'm just giving you an, an extreme example. Like, Bray used to spend every dime he had just so he could put himself back broke and put himself in a position to be hungry to write another book because he had to. So sometimes you got to put your back against the wall because, you know, you can't be comfortable. You can't be comfortable in nothing you do. You know what I'm saying? You got to be uncomfortable to make some type of change. It's like when you hit the gym, you live heavier, but you used to live become easier. Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV.